Good evening YouTube, today is July 2nd, 2018. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to, one, download the new self-key wallet, two, uh, how to set it up and use it. Uh, as usual, I'm not a financial professional uh, or advisor, so please do your own research and do not consider the content of this video to be uh, professional advice of any sort. With that said, you'll need an internet connection and a uh, uh, browser so I'm using Chrome to access this URL here to download the wallet um, I've provided the URL that you see here in the description of the video as well and once you navigate there you got to enter in an email address and click on download wallet now it's downloading and say which version you want it so uh, I want it for Windows so you'll notice it's a identity wallet beta uh, for those not familiar with what that means, it means that this is a highly experimental wallet and there might be issues with it. So uh, use it at your own risk. So I'm downloading it here for Windows. And uh, I'm going to let it download down here. And you'll see it's done. So now you're going to click on it. So when you do that, uh, it'll start installing. So once you uh, run that installation, this uh, application will launch self key identity wallet. I am going to agree to the terms of service. You can um, read through it and do with that if you want to. So then you say uh, set up my uh, self key identity wallet and you just say create new wallet. Uh, read through the fine print. If you agree and understand it, click on I understand. And then the uh, first step is create a password. You'll kind of see an indicator that tells you how strong your password is. So mine is strong. Click on next and you got to confirm your password. Hit next. And so it says uh, kind of a gist of what your public key is. So public key is the address that you can use to receive um, self key tokens. At. So if you have somebody sending you self key tokens you're going to give them this public key to send it to um, you also want to download your key store file I'm not going to do that because I'm not I don't need that for well I'll do it for the demonstration purposes so I'll download it and um, I'll just kind of do save to my desktop and there you go saved it okay um, uh, so you this key store file that, you, uh, that I just downloaded if I ever needed to access or recover this wallet elsewhere I would need to have or you would need to have that key store file to essentially uh, imp import a wallet so the self key wallet to a different computer so read this and I understand it and then it says what my private key is so private key uh, they're saying to back it up just like any other wallet and just like any other wallet um, the private key is essentially a way to, uh, to um, give anybody access to your wallet. So if they have access to your private keys, they can have access to your funds. Uh, I'll say print private keys. And then uh, I'm not going to actually print it, but you can print it. It's, it looks like that's what they recommend. And click on continue. So it says wallet setup complete. Um, so we'll focus on the self key tokens. If you want people to send you tokens, you can give them the address that shows up here. And um, you can also store Ethereum to Ether tokens, but we're not going to focus on that. And that's essentially your wallet in a nutshell. So you can just kind of close out of it after you're done using it. Uh, but it is a desktop wallet and that's more or less how it works. If you have any questions, please use the comment section. Otherwise, go ahead and subscribe for more videos like this one. Thanks and have a good day. Bye.